Hi everyone, here we are going to solve for positive integer solutions for this equation 1 over x plus 1 over y equals to 1 over 5. So, <clears throat> as you can see in this equation, x and y are the denominators and 5 is also in the denominator. So, left hand side, they both are positive integers as mentioned. And left hand side, is a cyclic symmetric formula and we have to sort for x and y so now let's suppose here we are going to suppose that let let x is greater than or equal to y this is the first condition what we are going to suppose because they both are positive integers so you can have you can suppose let x is greater than or equal to y now what what do we do <clears throat> what do we get so when x is greater than or equal to y when x is greater so 1 over x will be lesser than or equal to the fraction 1 over y so here we are going to write 1 over x is lesser than or equal to 1 over y this is the inequality what we get now, how do we write it in the equation? So, let's write it back in the equation. What is our equation? That is 1 over x <clears throat> plus 1 over y equals to 1 over 5. So, I'm going to write 1 over 5 is equal to, that's given as 1 over x plus 1 over y. Now, as you can see, that 1 over x is lesser than or equal to 1 over y. So, this is lesser than or equal to 1 over y plus the same thing, 1 over y. So, that's 1 over y plus 1 over y is equal to 2 over y. So 1 over 5 is lesser than or equal to 2 over y. So, now we can solve this inequality because y is a positive integer so we can write it as 2 over y this 2 over y is greater than because it's greater than or equal to 1 over 5 <clears throat> all right y is a positive integer and then we can multiply by 5 on both sides and then 1 over y is greater than or equal to 10. So now you can have a maximum value of y. That means y is smaller than or equal to 10. y is lesser than or equal to 10. That's the maximum value what we can get. <clears throat> now x can be rewritten in terms of y because here they are in denominators now we can rewrite x in terms of y so we are going to get what we are going to do now is multiply this equation i'm going to write this back here so that we can just follow 1x plus 1 over y is equal to 1 over 5 now we are going to solve for x in terms of y so what are we going to do with this equation 1 over x plus 1 over y equals to 1 over 5 we're going to multiply by 5 x y on both sides and you can see what will happen so here <clears throat> multiply both sides by 5 x y so let's multiply 5 x y by x so we are left with 5 y then in the next case plus 5 x y over y so you are left with 5 x is equal to 5 x y over 5 so that's equal to x y now we are going to bring x y the other side remove x y or subtract x y on both sides so you're going to get 5y plus 5x minus xy as equal to 0. <clears throat> so now what we can do? 
you can take out x common here you have x here you have x so let's take a take it out 5y plus x into 5 minus y equals to 0 now what do we have <clears throat> so I'm going to subtract 5y on both sides and divide by 5 minus y on both sides so let's see what we have x is equal to negative 5y over 5 minus y and then what do we have now I just want to pull off this negative sign so I'll pull this negative sign to the denominator and multiply them so x is equal to 5y over y minus y I can write it like this here x and y are both positive integers now you can you can easily write this as 5 multiplied by you can also rewrite it as y 5 multiplied by y over y minus 5 now you can see that <coughs> x is a positive integer y is also a positive integer and here 5 is also a positive integer so this whole term this is also a positive integer so from here you can say if y that y minus phi will be greater than or equal to 1 as it is in denominator it cannot be 0 it has to be greater than or equal to 1 so we get y minus phi is greater than or equal to 1 so what will be y y is greater than or equal to 1 plus 5 6 so we got a value which is for y is greater than or equal to 6 in which case we are solving for this case x is greater than or equal to y when x is greater than or equal to y we have y is greater than or equal to 6 and y is lesser than or equal to 10 so i can write this as y 6 is lesser than or equal to y <clears throat> is lesser than or equal to 10 that's how y is lesser than or equal to 10 yes so that's what you get okay so how many cases are there how many cases we can do in this so i'm going to write that down here again we have got that 6 is lesser than or equal to y is lesser than or equal to 10. So how many cases do we have in this? So let's find out how many terms you can have. y is equal to 6. Start from 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. That's it. So what will be the value for x? x will be equal to if y is 6 what is x so as you know x was 5 multiplied by y over y minus 5 so let's substitute on this and check 5 into 6 over 6 minus 5 6 minus 5 is 1 so here you have 6 times 5 is 30 so you have 30 when y is 6 x is 30 and for 7 as you are doing for which case where x is greater than or equal to y <clears throat> when x is greater than or equal to y 7 minus 5 it's not an integer solution no for 8 no for 9 no for 10 10 over 10 minus 5 that's 5 5 times 2 is 10 so 2 times 5 you get back 10 so x is also 10 so here you have this is no integer that's not an integer solution so x and y there are two cases there are two cases now the other case this was for x is greater than or equal to y another case was for x is lesser than or equal to y so you can even have you can even solve for x is less than or equal to y what will happen the values will interchange if x is 6 y will be 30 and then here they both are same so no need to 
change anything x is 10 y is also 10 so only this solution will change here you will have x is 6 and y is 30 and for the another one you have x is 10 y is 10 that's it now what are we going to do <clears throat> we can write it as so x can x can have same value for this one now you can write the values as x comma y are either it can be 6 comma 30 6 comma 30 the other value is the other value can be 30 comma 6 6 comma 30 30 comma 6 and then you can have another value as 10 comma 10 that's it and they both are same so you can have these values for x and y as they are positive integer solutions so hope you like this session and don't forget to subscribe thank you for joining take care bye bye